I suppose most boys have fond memories of their schools. But in my case, St. George's was perhaps extra special. For in the last years of my boyhood, St. George's was quite literally my home. He couldn't touch you, James. That last goal was a classic. Next week, Jamie. Chips. Headmaster wants to see you. Good day, sir. You sent for me? Yes, I mean, uh, sit down. So, congratulations on the game. Well done. Thank you, sir. I believe we'll take the championship this year. Oh, I'm sure you... Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. <clears throat> um, this is Mr. Featherston, one of the board members. How do you do? Right near. James. Four years ago, since the accident, after your parents passed away, we hoped you'd look upon St. George's as a home. Oh, yes, I do. Well, we feel the same. However, I... I have some bad news. The trust fund your parents left you has been exhausted. In fact, this has been the case for almost a year. I've tried to find a way to keep you here, but... You see, a replacement student has been found, a paying student. So I'm afraid, James, you'll... You'll have to leave St. George's. Leave St. George's? Where will I go? Well, as a matter of fact, I have found a place for you. I think you'll find it quite exciting, really. It's the home of your Uncle Angus. Uncle who? Angus, Angus Stewart, your mother's brother, in Manitoba. It's taken me a long time to find him. He's a fellow who lives in the woods, like a savage. My father thought he was quite mad. Oh, no, no, no. On the contrary, he seems a, a very kind and pleasant fellow in his letters. He's, he's in the fur business. He's looking forward to seeing you. I've made all necessary arrangements. He'll leave from Manitoba tomorrow. Tomorrow? But what about school? What about the championship? I could get a job. I could work part-time. I can help MacGruber. We couldn't pay you. But let's hope, let's hope, James, this is only temporary. I, I promise you I'll do all I can to find a way for you to come back. Is that it then, sir? There's no other choice?
since the death of my parents, and I felt fear and pain as I did that day, watching St. George slip forever into the past. Connect with the pod line. Thank you so much. But I was no stranger to great loss. And somewhere on that long journey, my grief gave way to a certain excitement at the prospect of adventure ahead. Is this the pod line? That's the fact. Traveling Stuart Landing to see my uncle. That's right. Stuart Landing took a place. He's the Stuart. Stuart Landing, I mean. He's an important man. A fur baron. He's having problems playing the company, so he sent for me. Don't say. Well, the blizzards haven't started up there yet, and if the Indians don't get us and the moose doesn't derail the train, we might just make it. <laughs> you kick me one more time and I'm really gonna hurt you. <laughs> he can't come in here. This is first class. This train ain't got a first class. Anyway. The baggage car's all filled up. Well, what do you want me to do with them? Just let them off at Stewart's Landing. All right, you move up to the front of the train and behave yourself. No nonsense, you hear? Oh, come on. Don't you speak English? Yeah. He won't bother you. Curiosity was aroused by this angry boy with the same destination as I. But if anyone had told me then that he and I would soon share the greatest adventure of our lives, I would never have believed them. Still less that we would become best friends. Disappeared, I felt like the last person left on earth. Where was the town? Where was my uncle? Did he know I was coming? Did he even exist? Steady, I told myself. A St. George's boy doesn't panic. Uncle Angus? So, you're here, are you? Waiting here for about an hour and a half now. The train was on time for a change. So where are we going? Home. Only a couple hours walk. I give you a healthy appetite. 
We'll get your stuff. for you. This is my side of the cabin. That's yours. Eat. Uh, I don't need this stuff. I don't know if you realize it or not, but I don't plan on being here very long. The school's making arrangements for my return. A matter of weeks, could be even days. You'll get used to it. You don't seem to understand. I don't want to get used to anything. I'm just here for a visit. Look, lad, I don't like this any more than you. But like it or not, you're here now until you reach the legal age. It's three years. Three years? Unless you find a gold mine to take you back to that fancy school. Where place. am I supposed to go to school? There's no schools around here. I have to go to school. I want an education. Well, I got four books here. None of them Bibles. And I can go over your ciphers with you. I want to go to university. It's my mother. Yes. Sometimes I almost forget her face. Just look in the mirror, lad. You got her eyes. Who's the man? You're never told about your Uncle Andrew. <laughs> no, I suppose not. Your father didn't exactly approve of your mother's wild brothers when we came out here 20 years ago. What happened to him? He was lost years ago. Up north, up in the barren lands. Three seasons I searched for him in that godforsaken place. Never saw him again. What, what are the barren lands? <laughs> the worst place on earth. So cold when you spit, it's ice before it hits the ground. Wind so strong, it'll tear the skin right off you. Not a tree for fuel, not a bush for shelter. Only when 
one's crazy enough to live there. The Kagimo Tsapitsik. Made their meat raw. Indians say it's the place of the Wendigos. Devils and bad spirits. They get you, you'll wish you'd never been born. Well, that's silly. There's no such thing as devils and spirits. You don't actually believe that rubbish, do you? I've been there. This was not at all my idea of an adventure. Good night, lad. This gruff man in his cramped little cabin that smelled of smoke and animal hides. I went to sleep praying that I would wake up in my bed at St. George's and that this would have been nothing but a terrifying dream. Good night's sleep put the fears of the night behind me, and I rose determined to act as befitted a boy from St. George's, but to make the best of a bad situation. <clears throat> well, there you go. At least you look like you belong here. That's a canoe. Nothing dense about you. Uncle. Why is it you left the city and came all the way out here? I got tired of having to live like everyone else. Think like everyone else. Here. Hold this. There's nothing out here. The things that are here are honest and real. These canoes. See the pretty line of our hull? She can glide across the water without a ripple. But she'll take a lot of punishment. Carry three times your weight in cargo. And with care, she'll last a lifetime. So what do you do? Do them. Fix them. Sell them down the line. You ever work with wood? I can learn. How many of these would it take to get a year's fee at St. George's? Oh, I don't know. Maybe seven or eight. Well, how long would that take? Oh, maybe two, maybe three years. Good, good. This is my nephew, Jamie. Jamie, this is my good friend, May I sit? Welcome. My sister, Lenore. How do you do? Jamie has come all the way from Toronto. He's been living here with me. My God's me. Nenemo. Is the hunting improved? You found deer this season? No, no. We'll have to go further north. Keep going until we find them. You come with us. We could use your rifle and shells. Yes. Yes, we'll come. Good. See, your boy Owasis is back from school. What did he think of it? He took more than they gave. No, he doesn't know who he is. 
This will be his first hunt. Perhaps he will remember then. Ma bonne lies over the ocean. Ma bonne lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. <laughs> bring back, bring back. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. <laughs> Won't be too much longer. Oh, oh, that hurts. Well, it won't hurt if you keep it tight to your shoulder. I don't want to shoot it. You shoot or you starve in this country. A rifle is a tool, like a canoe. You learn respect for it, and you learn how to handle it properly. I don't want to go on this hunt. I'll stay here. Let's get one thing straight, lad. In this country, everyone earns their keep. It's time you started. Now shoot. I don't want to go. I don't know these people. They're strange. You're not going to marry her, are you? And what if I am? She's Indian. Aye. And they're better people than most you'll meet. You said you wanted an education. And they'll teach you more about life in the world than a dozen universities. And you take that rifle and shoot. I don't want to shoot it! Oh. 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 Miss Domino Ayao Angus, okay. Hoka Miss Kaskenis Dam Mona Kasken Dam Ento Wenemisk Aragista Ento Wenemat. Bewitze Wen. Say, Mark. <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you sit? <laughs> nice one. Well, your uncle just shot himself in a very important place. <laughs> you all right? Yes, just a grace. Yeah, but he won't be able to sit in a canoe for a while. But you'll come with us, though. No. I have to stay with my uncle. We'll only be eight, maybe ten days. Because we got to get back before it freezes up. But you'll get a share of the meat even if you don't make a kill, all right? All right. Good. I'll not go near the barrens. No, my friend. Good lad. As we pulled away, this place and this man who had been so forbidding a week ago suddenly seemed the only familiar things in my life. Hi, lad. I felt doomed to go on forever being uprooted. 
been cast into ever more frightening and alien worlds. Yeah, it's quite good, actually. What sauce is good? Right. What's that? Papa, it's a no taste. What are you doing? Deer. See? This is old. There's nothing fresh here. I guess we'll have to go further north. We'll find them. First, we must prepare our thoughts. Prepare our thoughts? To hunt is to ask for a gift from the spirits and to receive it. There's no room for impatience. We'll only be successful if our thoughts are pure and clear. If the animal knows this, it will give itself to us. The longer I was with these people, the more alien they seemed. They were apparently content to do nothing but paddle and watch. What I longed for most was someone my own age I could talk to. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, they are. Probably on the barrens. It's two days north from here. We don't really want to go there. Because our people don't know the spirits there. It's the home of what our people call the Gagimutsapiksik, the eaters of raw flesh. The elders say that they will eat us if they catch us there. They're really camels? Oh, yeah. My grandfather's time. There were great battles between the Cree and the Gagimut Sapixik. Since then, they have stayed out of each other's lands. Now we need meat. Tonight we will ask the spirits for help. I think she believes that, Hocus Pocus. He's the finest hunter in our land. You know nothing of our ways. I didn't know you could speak English. Please, thank you. Stand up straight, keep your mouth shut. Yeah, I always taught your language.
What's this, Jamie? Wake up. We are going into the Barrens, the place of rocks. Four days travel from here. The deer will be there. You must wait here. But I want to come. No, it's too dangerous. Besides, I promised your uncle. Oasis will stay here with you. But this is to be my first hunt. There will be other hunts when you are ready. May Austin? Which? Look, if we're both going to be stuck here, maybe we... Listen, I'm sorry about you not going on the hunt. It must have been important to you. Stock close to your body. Take a breath. Breathe out halfway. And then hold it. Okay? Hold it. Hold your breath or the barrel will rise. It's better. You try. I almost got a bullseye. You didn't even come close. <laughs> Only white men waste bullets on bullseyes. Sometimes at school, we'd climb over the fence at night and snare squirrels and rabbits to eat. For fun? Because we were hungry. Oh, they fed you. Oatmeal, mush, and beans every meal. <laughs> to taste meat, it was worth the beating. They beat you? They beat us the worst if we spoke Indian. They said it was the devil's talk. They had no right to do that. <laughs> How come you live with your uncle? My parents died in a car accident five years ago. I've been living in St. George's ever since. And the money to keep me there ran out. So, what should we do tomorrow? It's getting boring just sitting here waiting for your father. Where does that other river go? Off to the northwest. It's called Ewomus CP Mustapio Gayatsik. What does that mean? The river of the giants. They say it leads into a land where giants once lived. There's a legend about an old stone house that they built there in ancient times. I think we should investigate. <laughs> That's crazy. It's only a legend. You're afraid. We're not going down the river. We're going to obey my father. This crazy legend has you spooked. You're afraid to go down the river. I'm not scared. 
But you're so slow and clumsy, you could never keep up with me. That's why my father left you here, you know? I can help portage and paddle you any day of the week. We go for one day. Then we come back. One day. Come on, you said yourself your father's not coming back for at least six days. You're not still spooked about that Indian legend, are you? Let's have some fun for a change. for the stone house at last provided some of the excitement that the headmaster had promised I would find here. I began to enjoy the canoe and to lose my fear of the wilderness. I even found myself marveling at the beauty of the river. father I knew he was right but I couldn't help myself it was my first taste of the freedom of the wilderness the farther we went the farther I had to go that's all we're going back come on we've only been out here two days just one more day I promise okay no if my father found you he'll be coming back soon it'll be harder now we have to paddle upstream we have to go back There's a house that's too far from water and too much in the wind. It's built to last forever. Yeah, only a white man would want to do such a thing. You've never been white men around here? Well, never, not that I know of. But it's several hundred years old. It's a place of evil spirits. Come on, let's go. Hocus pocus. Come on, let's see if we can get in. No, it's bad enough that we're here. That's what we came here for. I came here to look after you because I promised my father. House. This is bad. Let's put the rocks back and go, okay? If you're scared, you can go back down to the canoe. I'm going in.
was white men who built this. Viking tomb this far in? Disturb the spirits. Wait till Uncle sees this. What have you done? You stolen from the dead. You have to put it back. I'm not putting this back. Do you have any idea what this is worth? Is it worth your life? You don't understand the forces that you've offended. You know, frankly, I'm a little tired of your superstition. Oh, and I'm tired of your white ignorance. Put it back. Well, the water's freezing. We'll have to get ahead of it down the river. Rapids!
something of my first great hunt. It said, look at us. And the whole stupid thing is your fault. Well, that's pretty low of you to blame me. You were the one who was supposed to tie up the canoe. What kind of Indian are you? You don't even tie up the canoe. They're not like people, they're wished to go. Evil spirits. I've decided what we must do. See? This is where we camped at two rivers. My father went this way, down the Cochrane River. We went this way, down the River of the Giants. So by land, we're not that far apart. We can't walk south because of Muskeg. But if we go over this ridge and into the Barrens, we'll reach my father's camp at the place of the rocks. How long will it take? Two, three days, but we must hurry. I'm surprised your father's gonna be to see us. You can explain how we got here. Sort of thing. Well, sir, one morning your son at said to me, why don't we go up for a little fun? Just one day. Even as we trudged into a landscape that became more forbidding with every mile, I didn't grasp the seriousness of our plight. This is the edge of the barrens. These are the lands of the Gagimutsapitsik. From here on, there's no place to hide. Spirits and devils, here we come. My father's camp should be over there. As we plodded on, I kept seeing myself back at St. George's, regaling my classmates with hair-raising tales of adventure in the northern wastes. Only on the second day without food did reality begin to sink in. I have to rest. We can't, just for a little while. We have to keep moving. Come on. Uh, we'll find them today. We better. The 
river. We made it. We'll eat meat tonight. Yeah, have you found any deer? father goes back to the camp and finds we're not there, he'll come looking for us, won't he? He'll think we've gone back on our own. He'll just go home without us. Well, when he finds that we're not back at home, then he'll come looking for us, won't he? By then it will be freezing. We won't be able to. Well, can't we just try to walk out of here? There's got to be a way. There's 20 miles of mice cake swallow us up. And if we're caught in the barrens and the blizzards come, we'll freeze to death. Well, what are we going to do? You're supposed to be the Indian around here. You're supposed to know what to do under these circumstances. <laughs> what are you laughing at? In your school, they told me not to be Indian anymore. Now you want me to be Indian again. I wish you white people would make up your mind. What are we going to do? We wait until freeze up. Hunt, make warm clothes, and a sled and snowshoes. And then, after the first blizzards have passed, and the rivers are frozen, we walk out of the barrens. Sounds great. We can do that. All right, where do we start? Do you think we'll find any deer? I don't know. Sick. It's making me sick just looking at it. You just suck the marrow out. I think it's going to snow. Sin. You've had good hunting? Yeah. My family will eat good this winter. You too.
Where's Jamie? In the Wasis. They're not here? Some more? No. We have to have some for the trip home. We'll have to go back, Angus. The river's freezing. Come back with sleds after freeze up. Oh, it snowed. Perhaps it was the snow, or perhaps hunger. But I woke that morning certain we were going to die. There would be nothing heroic about our deaths. Just the cold horror, the slow starvation. It's mine. Let go. I had it. I had it last night! This is ridiculous. I'm going to eat out of the food cache. No. No! I can't! It's our only chance to get out of here. We are never going to get out of here. Don't you understand that? The only question here is whether we'll freeze to death or starve to death first. Some great Indian hunt you turned out to be. No wonder your father left you behind. I'm probably better off on my own. That's a good idea. You bet it is. You'll die! I'm dying here! And I prefer to do that on my own, thank you very much.
You didn't take much. You saved most of it. I guess we scared him. I don't think he'll come back to you. I, I said, I, I don't think the bear will come back to you. I watched this. That wasn't a bear. What was it? An oversized furry dog? It was Nemo Som. What? Nemo Som. Great spirit. It came with a message for me. I've forgotten my father's lessons. I've been acting like a white man. I've been hunting like a white man. I must open my heart. I must speak to the spirit. The only reason why that bear was here was, was to steal our food. It doesn't help, you know, if you talk about that crazy stuff. I was pure by myself. Wasis, what are you doing? I'm preparing to talk to the spirit of the deer. I think we'll find him. He left his tracks for us. I had better not snow. Don't worry. there was no such thing as the spirit of the deer that we should have killed the animal while we could yet there was no denying the change in Owasis his new confidence drew me on in spite of myself so did my hunger treat 
Bedin kaçıyor. It's like a miracle. We could build a cabin. And a sled, a fire, snowshoes. We have everything we need. We don't have food. No, not yet. I felt less and less inclined to contradict Owasis and his beliefs. This was his world, just as school had been mine. And I realized he had something to teach me. Look, he's leaving again. No. We must wait for the right time and the right place. It'll happen. Go this way. As we started at last to work together, the hostility between us fell away, and we began to discover a friendship. Both of us had been uprooted from our homes. And each of us, in his own way, was determined to find his way back. It's not working. You need a vent in the bottom to draw in air from outside. Can you feel our hunger? Can you feel our need? Without you, we will die. Finished just in time. This will be a big one.
just feel it. I think Uncle Angus was happy to get rid of me. You know, uh, the week that you were coming, my father said how excited your Uncle Angus was. He showed everyone your picture and the gift of clothes he bought you. I didn't know that. He said you were the finest student in the school. He was very proud of you. Proud that you were coming to live with him. Right? You are different from me, but not so different as I thought. Do you think we'll make it home for Christmas? Maybe. It's already too late for me. Too late for what? To make it home for the ceremony. What ceremony? The one where I'm said to be a man. It's after my first kill. My father would have been so proud. Well, let's do it then. <laughs> not another ceremony. It's not what you do. It's why you do it. Come on. <laughs> Great spirit. Are you sure he understands English? Of course. Great spirit, there is a boy here who is ready to become a man. He is Oasis, son of Mayasin. He has received a fine animal. Here is his offering. From now on, Oasis, your strength and your courage will be shown in the good works that you do for others. Blessings of the spirits. You are now a man. Thank you, my brother. Wasis. Wasis. It stopped. It's over.
to leave that cabin was just a rootless boy clinging once again to the familiar. But I think it was more than that. I had learned something there that would change me forever. It was not only Oasis who left his boyhood behind in that valley. into that snowy waste with all the confidence in the world. After what we had survived, surely nothing could touch us, which only shows how little we knew of the power of that cruel land. dizzy. Don't worry. We'll stop and make camp soon. Yeah. Are your eyes hurting you? I think I know what it is. Oh. It's a lot off the snow. That's snow blindness. How long is it going to last? I don't know. I don't know. 
and I think another snow storm's coming. We'll never make it home. We must go back to the cabin. I'm not going back. We have to. and raging rapids, only to be defeated in the end by sunlight. This truly was, as my uncle said, the worst place on Earth.
rescued us had clothed us, fed us, and nursed us back to health. And now, in a final irony, the dreaded Gakimo Tsabitsi, the people we call Inuit, were bringing us back to what I was finally able to call my home.